If you guys don't know this, I do not have good aim at all. It's not anywhere close to perfect and it's probably not even passable as decent aim in competitive gaming titles. However, it's still not as bad as it could be. But I wanted to get above mediocre when it came to my aiming ability and leave mediocrity behind and I wanted to see how good my aim could actually get from simply changing my mouse. Now I didn't change brands of mice or styles of mice. I changed like the whole type of mouse I was using. I went from a traditional mouse that has a sensor on the bottom where you move it on a pad and that moves the cursor and I transitioned to a trackball mouse for a couple of days which has no sensor on the bottom does not move on a pad and the cursor is controlled by a ball which you move with your thumb. I've seen a few other YouTube channels do similar videos to this but they used ergonomic gaming mice and I have just a regular ergonomic trackball mouse. So as you might expect the results are going to be a lot less glamorous than what those videos probably told you. It's safe to say it took me quite a few hours to actually sort of get not bad at this and I think it's probably going to be no surprise to you that this mouse did not change my aim or make it much better. But it did surprise me in terms of how it didn't necessarily make it worse either. The mouse I decided to use was from ProtoArc and they actually sent this mouse over to me for this video. And it's a great mouse for what it is. It's a great trackball mouse. It offers everything I think most people would want in an ergonomic mouse that has a really nice sculpted design, variable DPI, or I don't even know if it's called DPI, but ball sensitivity. And it even has RGB. But I'll stop amping this up. Let's just jump right into the Valorant gameplay because there's really no need to add any more suspense to this video. It's I just gamed with a different mouse. So hopping in Valorant right off the bat, I noticed that the sensitivity of the ball was quite high. So that was making me miss a lot of shots since I'm used to pretty low DPI on my regular mouse. So I adjusted the DPI, I honed it into what felt comfortable for me. The thing with the ball is you don't want it too low because you can't move your thumb enough to actually move your gun to shoot the other person. So you want it so that your thumb doesn't have to lift off the ball. It can just go from side to side and that will give you enough range of motion in the game. So that took a little time to actually hone in and get right. But after I did that and adjusted some things, I kind of got used to the mouse a little bit more. I was able to hit some decent shots and here's a curated list of clips that I specifically picked because they looked the best. But for the most part, yeah, I was a lot worse than what I was before just using a regular mouse. That's expected because first of all, I have never used an ergonomic trackball mouse ever before in my life. And if I had used this mouse for maybe a month straight, I could probably get pretty good when it comes to, you know, hitting headshots a bit more. But I have a feeling it won't really matter how much time I actually use this ergonomic trackball mouse. Traditional gaming mice are just the way to go. So unless you physically can't use a regular gaming mouse, I would personally recommend that you do not use an ergonomic ball mouse anytime soon. For other tests though, if ball mice are your thing, then definitely go for it because I know a lot of people who actually like the feel of ball mice rather than traditional mice. And if you're looking to get a trackball mouse, then I would personally recommend the ProtoArct sculpted design because for the price, I feel like it offers some great quality and it offers some nice features such as wireless connectivity and even an RGB aspect if you're into that. All right, everybody, that's it for this sort of weird video. I know I don't normally quite make videos like this, but ProtoArct wanted to send their ergonomic trackball mouse out and I said, sure, I'll check it out. And I got this idea, so uh, <laughs> here you go. And with that, I'm Nate from Hardwired Review and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.